Welcome back, everybody. Sinister here. Oftentimes, games in Call of Duty, great games, go unrecognized. A few months ago, there was a game between two epic teams, F1A2 and Murder. And that this game could fade away into the obscurity of thousands of gameplays every day. However, I think it's important to look back and recognize the genius and the tension that was built during this game and the great play that occurred because of it. Both of these teams have, are notorious for pub stomping, for just going through and wrecking every team they play. So when they met together in this map, WMD, it made for an epic showdown. Typically, both of these teams rush around and are fairly aggressive. However, because both teams have talented players, this map broke down much like an MLG game. It was battle for position. And the, a battle became preeminent for the middle control building. That battle, how it was decided, decided the fate of this game. As control was gained in the middle control of this building, force was able to be projected onto various areas of the map. And this allowed the team that did it to push the losing team into the perimeter areas of the map. Now we're on board with uh, Yusaka from F1A2 as he moves down in an aggressive attempt to take the A flag and flank Murder as Murder moves away from the A in an attempt to take B. Sucka finds early success by moving down into the A building, clearing the corners, and moving on to A flag. This allows F1A2 to take an early lead in the game and force Murder to play catch up from the start. Now, Sucka continues to move. He continues his aggressive play and moves around through the crack in the wall and takes out an initial attempt to recap A flag. However, Non Chuck, a member of Murder, kills him before he can produce any more damage for F1A2. Now, let's watch Heck House here as he moves down into the middle area on the middle road from B, from the train area. Initially, he is controlling the middle part of the map, and he moves up into control building. He recognizes the A flag is going down from Non sitting on the flag, and he moves onto the A flag in an attempt to kill her, but she is unsuccessful. Non makes a clutch kill. However, as we watch Rugby Ice move around the corner here, shortly after she kills Heck House, Rugby Ice coming around the corner and kills her. Here's where it gets interesting. Now... His ideal situation is to t initially recapture A flag for his team. However, Murder recognizing the danger that they're in, throw initial spawn grenades, holding him in place until Nan can turn the corner and kill him. She then moves into the B control room. And this is where Murder begins to set up dominance. Now, control of this building is critical and both teams recognize this. They Both teams end up rushing this control room, mission control here. Because of the force projection onto A flag and B flag, and you can see here from the corner window, as Nan is able to project force onto the B flag, preventing F1A2 from capturing B flag. And because F1A2 now holds the A flag side, and they're set up on that side, Nan has a great idea, a great understanding of where F1A2 is going to approach from, from the A flag side. So this position at, at control room allows her to have access into their spawn location while protecting the B flag. As we watch, Nan actually make, picks up the first Blackbird of the game. This allows her to understand not only where the F1A2 is approaching from, but also to maintain control of the A flag side, which F1A2 still controls, and controlling the B flag side, preventing F1A2 capture. Now, as she presses forward, F1A2 recognizes that she has dominance in this middle building, and in an attempt to rush, they actually ride her with multiple kill feeds. Her shooting skill and ability to move within this control room allows her to maintain control for herself and for her team. Now she uses a motion sensor in the corner to provide some bad backstop presence. However, with multiple entrances into this B, she has to be constantly in movement, constantly ready for gunfights. Her shooting has to be accurate. She is only going to get one chance every time she is engaged in a gunfight. F1A2 continues to push in. Blue, Rugby Ice, all continue to move in. Flinderson and Heckhouse all recognize how dangerous position she holds by being able to projecting force from the middle of the map. But moving in, they're unable to take control. Nan is holding court here in the middle and continues to kill them as they enter. Now she does have a teammate in the lower part of the control room that's providing her extra coverage. This is elevated coverage and defense in depth. This is Napa Ning Nong, her, her teammate on murder. And he is controlling this road that leads from a up the side of the map from train area onto the B. If you're playing a map and you're in a tightly contested game, 
and your team or you're behind, control this middle, middle control. As we watch Don here, she's using the windows. She's using both A and B control windows. She's ele changing elevations. She's using a motion sensor to provide herself success in holding the middle of the map. She's able to engage air conditioning camping from F1A2 from the double doors. This continued high level of play in controlling the middle of the map. Murder has established themselves in this game. They've maintained control. They've controlled the middle of the building. They've prevented any aggressive retaking of not only the flags, but the control room. Now it continues to get kills, continues to rack up kill streaks, any control of Blackbirds along all of her teammates to recognize F1A2's position. In the end, as we can see, Murder dominates this game against F1A2, a highly talented team. So if you want to be a successful player in this game, watch the good players, watch the good teams. This is where you really learn. If you're like me and you want to get better and you want to push yourself to be the best you can be, play with good players, play against good players. Don't worry so much about your KD. That's Those are just numbers. If you can play good and win all of the time or win most of the time against good teams, you're successful. The quarterbacks in the Super Bowls, if they have complete four passes but win a ring, that's success. Win as a team, win as a player, and you'll improve. If you push yourself and you and if you continue to push yourself, perhaps you could try out for one of these clan teams. I recommend that you push yourself enough that you improve enough that you will be an attractive addition to one of these teams. And if you have any questions about contacting one of these clans, contact myself or one of the members that you see, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for joining me. Sinister here. I hope you learned something. Until next time, I'll catch you on Xbox Live.